In today's video, we're going to be checking out a brand new optimization script called Home Control. Home Control is a free and open source desktop utility which helps improve your FPS, reduce input lag and optimize your network performance. So in today's video, we're going to be downloading it, checking it out on my low-end PC. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So to get this, we just go to this link here, go to download zip, and then yeah, just extract this .zip here. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Now the optimizer itself is a Windows batch file. So as you can see, it's right here, homecontrol.bat. We just need to right click on this and run as administrator. And here we go, here is the script. So it all looks really cool, admittedly a little bit confusing, but the first thing we're greeted with when we first open it up is a warning, basically. So read through this very carefully. It basically just says that they're not liable for any damage that you do to your system. I would definitely recommend creating a system restore point before doing any tinkering with your computer. I'll leave a link to a tutorial in the description down below on how to do that. So yeah, read through this agreement very carefully and then just type, I agree. And here we are on the main menu of Home Control. So it's divided into seven different categories here. We've got optimizations, game settings, media, privacy and aesthetics is coming very soon. We've got an advanced section and credits, I believe, in more. So yeah, all we need to do to navigate through the different sections is just type in the number. So we just type in one and this takes us to the optimization settings. So these are all safe to use. These are recommended to do on every computer, whether you're a gamer or you just want a quicker computer. So the first thing is power plan, desktop power plan. Not good if you're using a laptop, make sure you've got your laptop plugged in because we're gonna be changing the Windows power plant so your battery life might not last as long. Leave it to do its thing and here we go, power plant is on. Next thing is SVC host split threshold. It tells you what each of these things are in a little description underneath, which is really useful. So just type in two, enter. Yeah, you basically get the gist of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all of these tweaks here, which are recommended. We've got stuff like high priority here. So this is really good for mouse input and it also improves input delay. We've got timer resolution as well. I believe I did this exact tweak in my last video. If you haven't checked that out already, I'll leave a link to it on the top right right now. MSI mode, very good for your GPU and network. To check if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, all you need to do is just right click on your start menu, go to device manager here, and then where it says display adapters here, click on the drop down arrow. And if it says NVIDIA here, then you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. If it doesn't, and it just says Intel HD graphics like mine, then you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, which are kind of new from my computer. So yeah, all of these tweaks say not applicable because I don't have an NVIDIA GPU. However, if you do have one, then I'd recommend going through and enabling all of these tweaks here. All right, let's go on to the next page. To do that, just press N and then just press Enter. And here we go. So we've got some bloatware settings here, network tweaks, CPU and GPU tweaks, and miscellaneous tweaks. So obviously there's a debloater built in to home control. By default, Windows has a lot of bloatware and pre-installed apps that slow down your computer. So this basically gets rid of them. So these are both say not applicable to me because I've already run a Windows debloater on this version of Windows that I'm using right now. But if you haven't, then just go ahead and do one and two. We've also got disable mitigations as well, which is a good option to have on. We've also got network tweaks as well, where we can optimize TC and IP internet protocol. Don't use this if you're using Wi-Fi. And this basically just improves your connection basically. Who doesn't want that in a multiplayer game? We've also got optimized NIC here, which basically optimizes your network cards. And then we've also got an option to optimize Netch as well. So yeah, it's recommended to do the network tweaks here, obviously if you're not using Wi-Fi, which I am not. And here are our integrated CPU and GPU tweaks right here. So I have enabled optimize Intel iGPU because I'm running Intel HD graphics. If you're running AMD graphics, then I recommend doing that. And there's also a universal all GPU tweaks here, which we might as well have on. So I'm just gonna go ahead, press seven and enable that. So we've also got our miscellaneous tweaks here. So we've got a cleaner, always good to use a cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna press 10 and enter. And then the script thing should just do its thing. So here we go, scanning and there we go. 
that has completed and it's found nothing to clean. We've also got a game booster as well here, which sets the CPU and GPU to high performance. Just press 11 and enable that. Looks like we've got to open up the disk cleanup command here. Press continue. Looks like that has enabled. And there's also soft restart as well, which basically gives your computer a little restart, which will give you a nice little boost. But I'm not going to do that right now. So that looks like that's the last page of the optimization section. If we just go here, we're back to the screen that we're already on. So just press B and you can go back. So now we're on to game settings. So if we press two, as you can see here, we've got a Minecraft section here. So we're just going to go ahead and press one for Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and select 1.8.9 because that's the version that I mostly play. There's also 1.7.10 and 1.18.2. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and optimize version 1.8.9. So I'm just gonna press two and it says settings have been applied. Go back and that is game settings done. So now we've got media. Now media is quite an interesting one. If you're a content creator out there, you might find this section quite useful. So you can install and update OBS right from this script. If you install it through this script, it does actually install with optimized settings, which is really good. We've also got recording settings as well, based on your OBS preference. And we've got some streaming settings as well here. We've also got FFmpeg settings as well. So you can upscale content through this script as well. You can also compress it and you can also reduce your preview lag if you use Sony Vegas to edit your videos. We've also got some blur settings here so you can add blur to Minecraft and first person shooter games. And we've also got video editor settings here so you can install a video editor right through this script as well. So if we go into 10 here, these are the options to install through this script. So you can get Sony Vegas Pro and DaVinci Resolve, which is a really good open source video editing software. You will need to buy Sony Vegas Pro. This isn't going to install like a cracked version or anything, but it's quite cool that you can install it all through here. So yeah, quite a cool little section here if you're a content creator and you want to make your videos better. Also good that you can compress them through here as well. And also optimized OBS settings is also really good as well. As I said, privacy and aesthetics are grayed out right now. They are coming soon. But when they are added, I'll definitely do a video because that'll be really good to cover on this channel, especially with optimizing low end PCs like this. We've also got an advanced tab here as well. So if we go ahead and press six. Now, these are highly experimental tweaks. And again, we're going to have to read through this and make sure we agree with it. Definitely make a manual restore point rather than just the Hones automatic one. So I'm going to go ahead here and type I agree. And let's see what advanced tweaks we've got. All right, so here we go. We've got some advanced network tweaks right here. Task offloading, non-best effort limit, auto tuning, Wi-Fi congestion provider, and DCCP value. Only mess around with this if you know what you're doing. But stuff that I've been told that is worth checking out is P states, C states, and disable idle. Basically all these power tweaks right here are quite good. You can also change your Windows boot config as well to optimize settings with VCD edit and you can disable USB power savings. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable C state. So I'm gonna press six and enter. As you can see, it says you need to restart. I'm just gonna say no for now, and we'll do a big restart at the end. We've also got P states as well here. So we're gonna go ahead and enable that. So just go to seven. Looks like we can't actually enable P states because we don't have a graphics card, which is pretty embarrassing. But we've also got disable idle here, which we can do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press eight. So C states basically keeps the CPU from throttling, but it will make your computer quite hot. So if you're on a laptop, this probably isn't recommended unless you want to burn your lap. And then we've also got disable idle here, which forces the CPU to always be running at its highest state. So yeah, the CPU will basically never idle. It'll always be working hard, which allows you to squeeze all the performance you possibly can out of your computer. And then if we go to seven more, I believe this is just the about section. You can also view their Discord, Disclaimer, About, and then there's also Credits as well. And yeah, that is pretty much Home Control. So yeah, it's a really cool script. I like how it's all laid out. It's all easy to understand, and it gives you explanations of everything that you're doing. Some scripts just have buttons and they expect you to know what you're doing, which is quite difficult for the end user and can result in quite a lot of issues. Let's go ahead and restart our computer. So yeah, just go ahead and just do a regular restart. Let's see how quickly the computer restarts now that we've done all of these optimizations. Wow, that was actually quite quick. 
Now we do have an SSD in this computer and I have been doing quite a lot of other optimizations in my other videos. Your computer might not be this quick, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's turned on really quickly. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.8.9 and see what kind of FPS we get. All right, that game actually loaded really quickly then. And here we are on 1.8.9 Optifine. Wow, my mouse feels so sensitive. I think that's something to do with the mouse input lag reduction. Wow, this feels really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and throw up our FPS. And here we are. We're getting about 100 FPS in game. Now bear in mind, this is 1.8.9 without Optifine. And yeah, our FPS is about 100, which is perfectly playable and really good for a low end system. If we go ahead and look at our video settings here, these are the video settings that have been applied for us. I have had to put the max frame rate up for some reason that was on 120. But other than that, this is pretty much the settings it's given us. I mean, we can put graphics on fast, turn the smooth lighting off, turn off clouds and stuff, and that'll probably give us even more FPS. Or we could even install Optifine and that'll get us even more. But yeah, for vanilla, I'm really happy with this performance. This is really good for my low end PC. So if we look at our task manager here, for some reason you can't do this on Windows 11 anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and control or delete task manager. Here we go. So as you can see here, our CPU is constantly running at 100%. Now the reason it's doing that is because we disabled idle on the home script. So as you can see in the task manager here, it appears to be running at 100%, but that is just a visual bug. But if we have a look at the tasks here, as you can see, there isn't that many background processes here. If I just scroll down, we've just got Minecraft, our GPU driver, and then we've just got about 38 Windows processes, which is pretty good. So yeah, my computer does sound quite loud right now, and that is probably because we have disabled idle. So it's always running at 100%, so it is a little bit on the loud side. So if you are on a laptop, then it's probably recommended not to do that. But the performance we're getting out of this computer is really good. So IFPS is incredible on Minecraft. And yeah, it's just a really good script if you want to quickly optimize your computer right so i just hopped into some hypixel duels here we're going to see what the performance is like doing some pvp here so yeah input on my mouse feels so direct my aim is so much better after applying these mouse fix settings which is probably the standout feature for me fps as well is really good so i'm really happy with the performance we're not even on a client we don't have Optifine or anything like that installed. And our FPS is really good in high pixel duels. It feels so smooth and I can PvP really well. Can we get this guy? No. Oh, you dodged my rod. So yeah, a message to all the subscribers and future subscribers. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as consistently lately. Uploads have just been all over the place lately and I'm sorry about that. But we're going to get back to our normal schedule now. And let me know if you want to continue to see videos like this where I just go through optimization programs. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you want to see really in the comments and I'll definitely check it out and consider it. This guy is all over the place. What are you doing? That's going to be the video guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did. Thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It's good to be back and I will see you in my next video. Peace.